Welcome to Wines Azure. We're here in downtown Las Vegas. You know, one of the things Las Vegas has done in the last couple of years is really promote growth in the downtown area. And one of the things that's moved down here because they have other uh, restaurants around town is Rachel's Kitchen. That's where we are tonight. Beautiful little restaurant. We'll talk about it. You're going to meet Kathy Wilson, who is the manager here at the downtown Rachel's. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. So come with me and you're going to meet Kathy Wilson. Welcome to Rachel's Kitchen. Kathy Wilson is sitting next to me. She's my guest this evening and she's also the owner, uh, general manager of uh, the restaurant here at Rachel's. And we're going to have some fun. But first, Kathy Wilson, thank you very much for allowing us to come down and, and uh, discover uh, your restaurant downtown and uh, enjoy some of your food along with some wines that we brought. We're really glad to have you. Tell us a little bit about uh, Rachel's Kitchen. Sure, it's a locally owned franchise. Uh, it was founded about eight years ago. There are five locations, uh, full service locations around the valley. Uh, we opened up here downtown March 5th of this year, so we're just getting ready to celebrate our first year of being in business downtown. That's good. Here. Well, I'm kind of looking forward. I'm going to be down here for your celebration. Uh, you know, one of the unique things about Rachel's Kitchen, all of the restaurants, but more particularly uh, the one downtown here, is that they have breakfast, they have brunch, uh, they have lunch, uh, and they have wholesome food. If you're a, a vegan, you can come in here and there's several things on the menu designed specifically for you. We take care of all different types of needs. We uh, have quite a few vegetarians that are down here. We do have some vegans, but gluten seems to be much more sensitive. In fact, um, in the next few months, we'll be introducing a gluten-free line of pastries into our case. Really? Yes. Very good. Let's try this uh, sparkling wine. It's made from Muscato. Muscato is the Italian where this originated, and in America, and more specifically in California, they call this Muscat. Muscat grape. Very nice. Mm, very tasty, too. Mm. Now, let's try a little fresh fruit. Let's uh, do that. This is beautiful here. They've got the berries and the melons and the pineapple and everything uh, all in one little container. So we'll have a little fruit. Celebrating the holidays with the lovely fruit. Yeah. And then taste this Moscato with it. Mm. What a nice, simple pairing. Mm. Our next wine uh, is actually a still wine made by the same company that made the sparkling champagne, and that's Barefoot. You know, Barefoot is probably one of the largest, if not the largest, winery in all of California owned and operated by E&J Gallo. A lot of people don't know that, but uh, they do. And they do uh, over a million cases of sparkling wine a year. Folks, that's probably 40 different wineries added together, and that's just one. But they do a beautiful job. So Kathy, tell us what you decided to do uh, to pair uh, with this Chardonnay. Thank you for asking. We paired it with a creamy mushroom soup. Ooh. So we've got cream, chicken broth, herbs, fresh garlic, onion, um, some fresh mushrooms in there. Oh, so this didn't come out of a can. It did not, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Made uh, right in the kitchen today. Yeah, they, they make everything here, I have to say. It was kind of a pun, but I, I have to tell you, Rachel's Kitchen is a place to go. We're, we're ready to go with wine number three. Now, the wine is uh, named Paul Dolan. That's the gentleman that has the winery up in Mendocino. And if you're not sure where the heck Mendocino is, it sits directly above Sonoma. And if you're not real sure about Sonoma, it sits just north of San Francisco. I want to pour a little bit of it and show Kathy here what a beautiful color this is. This is a very nice garnet color. Uh, I just happen to think it's, a, it's beautiful. The nose on this is uh, extremely good. By good, I mean it has uh, a lot of nose to it. Cabernet generally does, but this one happens to be just very nice. This is pure, if you know what I mean. Uh, um, now you put together some pasta. Tell us about this because this is a signature pasta dish that they have here at Rachel's Kitchen. It is and in our signature pasta we have chicken, eggplant, mushroom, sun-dried tomatoes, little Parmesan cheese wow. and then it's tossed in our tomato cream sauce. Holy mackerel, that's a lot of stuff. This. That's a full-bodied pasta I have to tell you. Now I'm going to taste this because uh, she's told me about it. I haven't had a chance to taste it in the past. I've eaten here several times, but not uh, not the pasta. I want to try it. Well, oh. I like the the eggplant and the chicken together. Is something you might want to think about doing at home. 
just make yourself a nice uh, marinara sauce or uh, bourgeois, whatever type of uh, sauce that you happen to like, and put more than just one vegetable in it, more than just tomatoes. That's correct. Yeah. A little mushroom, a little eggplant. Yeah, it's really good. I'm going to taste it now with this Cabernet. Mm. This is such an elegant tasting Cabernet Sauvignon. You know, some Cabernets you taste it, it's kind of slap you in the face and wake you up and say, boy, this is big, fat, and bold. That's not what this is. This is what I would call an elegant Cabernet, and yet it has a nice tannin finish and a little bit of acidity uh, when you swallow it. And after you swallow it, you can still taste it for quite a while. So it has what we call a long, lingering finish. Again, we're at Rachel's Kitchen downtown. We're here at the same time every week, and I want to thank you for watching Wines Du Jour. We'll see you next time. Let's have a little toast. Salud. Salud.